it's been an incredible 10 years since the launch of the first Galaxy S. There's just no way to deny that there is an Android before the Galaxy S and an Android after. And to celebrate a decade of dominance, it's time for another Galaxy Unpacked. Reporting from both New York City and San Francisco, I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's talk about the Galaxy S10s. Yes, I said it plural. So technically today we get three Galaxy S10s, but then they actually showed us four. And once you account for all the variations, yeah, there are a few. Disclaimer though, the lighting in this venue was atrocious, so apologies in advance. During our briefing, we got to see the Galaxy S10e, with its E standing for Essential, the Galaxy S10, and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Their sizes are different, but the experience you get from each is intentionally similar. Samsung made it clear that after much consumer research, there are three things that are associated with the Galaxy brand, display, camera, and powerful specifications. As for the display, all three devices have an all-new Dynamic Super AMOLED panel, which is the world's first HDR10 Plus certified, meaning vivid digital content and dynamic tone mapping for a wider range of color and enhanced outdoor visibility. It also has blue light reduction by 42% without compromising quality. As for differences, there's obviously screen size, with the S10e being a smaller one at 5.8 inches diagonal and being a flat display as well. It has a single selfie camera cutout and its fingerprint scanner is capacitive and embedded on the power button. The S10 has a larger 6.1 inch display, but curved, shares a similar single camera cutout, and the S10 Plus takes the display up to 6.4 inches diagonal, also curved, and the way you tell them apart is because of the larger camera cutout for the depth sensor on the S10 Plus. Something shared between both of these devices is the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner tucked under the display, which reads 3D contours of your finger for more secure biometrics. Internally, we're talking about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor or Exynos 9820, depending on your region. RAM varies from 6GB to 12, storage starts at 128GB and up to 1TB, though each variant is expandable. Battery on the S10e is of 3100mAh, 3400 for the S10 and 4100 milliamp hours for the S10 Plus. They are all IP68 water and dust resistant. They include the latest Wi Fi 6 fastest 4G LTE and include fast and wireless charging. And there's even wireless power share that serves other Xi devices, including the new Galaxy Buds that were briefly shown. Literally, the only difference left is a vapor chamber cooling system on the S10 Plus for gamers. To assist the spec sheet, One UI includes AI-powered performance enhancements. This means faster app launches as the phone detects what apps you use when you're at home and at work, and will preload them in the background at these locations. It means adaptive battery, as Samsung claims that all three phones will last all day regardless of their differences. It also means Bixby routines to help you get stuff done quicker, which are things we'll definitely have to test in our review. Samsung is dubbing these their new pro-grade cameras. They all have the same 10 megapixel selfie camera at f1.9 aperture that can now record 4K video, finally. And then they also share the same 12 megapixel primary camera at variable aperture between f1.5 and f2.4. All three also have the same ultra-wide 16 megapixel camera at f2.2 aperture and 123 degrees of field of view. What the S10e lacks is the 12 megapixel telephoto at f2.4 aperture. Improvements include the fact that you're now able to shoot HDR10 plus video, and a super steady video that Samsung claims will compete with any action camera. And then there are also scene optimizer improvements now with better AI and even MPU support. Color options are Prism Black, Flamingo Pink, inspired by the Pantone colors of the year, Prism White, Prism Blue, Prism Green, and for those of you curious of the materials, there is a ceramic white and ceramic black, though these are only available for the 512GB tiers and above for the Galaxy S10+. Plus. We were also shown the Galaxy S10 5G for a brief moment. It has a larger 6.7-inch display, a larger 4500mAh battery, and a time-of-flight camera sensor, though sadly weren't even allowed to touch this phone. So yes, this is the Galaxy S10. All the units of the Galaxy S10. If you think there's a lot, we have to agree. And I'm sure there's a lot more to be seen at the Galaxy Unpacked that we weren't briefed on. 
There's just so much to digest here, so definitely an extended review period is in order. Pre-orders begin on February 21st with a free pair of Galaxy Buds if you pick the S10 or S10 Plus, and you can find them in stores on March 8th. Pricing starts at $749 for the S10e, $899 for the S10, and $999 for the Galaxy S10 Plus. Prices that I do consider aggressive considering that these are some of the best flagships. Let us know what you think about these price points and the new galaxies in general in the comments down below. And while you're at it, make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.